first we're going to start out with a simple drawing of our flat top mushroom. We're going to add some yellow cad to the background and some orange because it's the beginning of autumn. And we're going to add some light green, which is a, a lemon green, to the background for the light. Add some patches of dark green, which is just a sap green. Adding darker patches with ultramarine blue and sap green. And we're going to do this while wet so that they all melt in together. Here I'm adding some yellow cad to the top of the mushroom and you see there the green kind of melted in there but no worries we could take a clean brush and soak that up later there are no mistakes we just keep going with our sketch the top of the mushroom is yellow cad the base where the gills are is uh, yellow ochre and the stem part has a little bit of raw umber mixed to it now I'm going to, in the background, I'm going to paint just a nice dark wash. This is mostly Payne's Gray, a little violet, and some sepia. Nice dark in the background. Then I'm going to clean my brush and touch the edges to fade out. Taking some sepia and making different patterns in the background. Little dots in the background and larger shapes in the front. This is just going to represent the ground. I'm not really interested in a lot of detail with what's going on in, in the ground with all the sticks and the twigs. We just want a, a really quick sketch. Our focal point is the mushroom, but we just want some action in the, in the background and the foreground. Now I'm going to add some tree stumps here with ultramarine blue and sepia. There are some really dark trees and there's some lighter trees that are further in the distance and perhaps they have sunlight shining on them as well. I'm going to make some thick trunks and thin trunks, some lighter trunks here. I'm going to skip around so that we could paint some leaves in between the trunks. Now we've got some sap green painting leaves and I'm not really worried about detail here as well because this is in the far distance and again our focal point is the mushroom but we just want to show some action going around in the background. Mushrooms are very important to our ecosystem. They compost things and they break things down and uh, they put nutrients back into the soil. Here we're going to take some yellow ochre and some sepia and we're going to do some negative painting around these gills. I don't want to line every single one of them, but I just want to show that there are some gills that are really bright. So this is what negative painting is. We go around these gills. Now I'm taking a darker sepia color, more pigment, and here I've got some sepia and some violet. I'm touching the bottom just to separate it and make it dark. It's always a treat when you're hiking in the woods and you find different mushrooms, all different kinds, all different varieties. Here we're taking that same color and we're outlining some of the pendant rings that are on the stem. And once I draw a line, I'm taking a clean brush and moving moving the paint around. The left side was a shadow and that was just ultramarine blue. Again cleaning the brush and pushing it around. Here I took some Payne's Gray and I am painting a shadow so it doesn't look like our mushroom is floating in the air. I want to reinforce this dark color in the bottom of the mushroom so I'm taking some more Payne's Gray and some violet and just touching the bottom here spreading the edges with clean water. Every time you paint with watercolors and you let it dry, it really dries um, a few shades lighter. So you might have to go in there a couple times and, and redo what you've done before, like those pendant rings. We want to bring that out. And here, some more shadow color, just to anchor this mushroom.
and I'm going in the top where the very edge of the flat top is and giving that a nice dark color reinforcing some color in the base Reinforcing that shadow color, more shadow in the ground. Now, if you ever want to tell if your sketch is dry, if it looks dry, it might not be dry. But if you take the back of your hand and touch it, if it's cold, it's still wet. But if it's not cold, you can move on to this step. Here I'm taking a number five micron pen and I'm outlining this mushroom. This is an optional step. I hope you enjoyed this demo. Thanks for watching.